Hi guys, welcome back to Depth of ML. I am Saluni and today we will be solving this question from linear algebra which is around vector spaces and subspaces. So let's see what the question is asking. So the question says which of the following is false? So it's a MCQ question. One of the statements that they have given, one of them is false. So let's see the statements one by one. So they are saying whether every vector space is a subspace of itself. So uh, say v is a vector space, is it a subspace of itself? I will use this uh, subset or equal to as a subspace of uh, subspace of this vector space symbol. So the first part is asking whether a vector space is a subspace, subspace of itself. Second part is asking that the subspace of every vector space is itself a vector space. So if I have um, w which is a subspace of v, um, then is it a valid vector space? The other question is asking, the third statement is asking whether the intersection of two subspaces of vector space V is a subspace. So suppose V1, I have W1 and W2 which are subspaces of V, then is W1 intersection W2 a subspace of V, okay? And the fourth statement is asking whether the union of two subspaces of vector space V is a subspace of V. So if I have W1 and W2 which are subspaces of V, is W1 union um, W1 union uh, W1 union W2 a uh, subspace of V. Okay. So to solve this question, you should understand uh, whether what is a vector space, what is an uh, uh, what is a subspace, and if you can understand this, this is a very easy question to solve. So let's solve this. Uh, so before we solve this, I just want to go over the uh, definitions of vector space. So I'm able to relate to this uh, while I am explaining it to you or what the solution is. So what is a vector space? So vector space is nothing but a set of vectors which has some special properties. And these are the 10 properties. Um, so X, Y, Z are the vectors which are coming from the vector space V. And C1 and C2 are basically the scalars. So these are scalars and these are vectors, okay? And there are three sets of properties that a vector space has. So the first property set is additivity or additive properties. The other set is multiplicative properties, multiplicative properties. And the third set is of closure properties. Okay. So a vector space has additive properties. What it says that it's commutative. It is associative. It has a, a zero identity or it's an ad additive identity that if I add an element, uh, which is the additive identity for that vector space to any vector from that vector space, I should get the same vector back. Okay. And there is a negative uh, element such that if I add a vector and the negative of that particular vector, then I should get the additive identity. Fine. So these are the additive properties. Similarly, we have multiplicative properties where we have a multiplicative identity such that if I multiply the multiplicative identity to any vector from that vector space, I should get the same vector back. Then there is again associativity corresponding to the multiplication of the scalars. So if I'm multiplying two scalars, it doesn't matter in what order I'm multiplying them to the vector, I should get the same result. Fine. Then uh, this is distributive properties. Actually, these both are distributive properties. So uh, if we are multiplying a scalar with the addition of two vectors, it should be equal to individually multiplying that particular scalar to the vectors and adding them. Similarly, if I'm adding a sum, uh, I, if I'm multiplying the sum of two scalars to a vector, it should be same as I multiply each of the scalar to the vector and I add them. Okay, so these are multiplicative properties. The third one is closure property and this is very important because these two properties, uh, additive and multiplicative properties are basically inherited by the subspaces. When we talk about subspaces, I think it will become more clear. But the subspace, which is basically the subset of a vector space, will always inherit additivity and multiplicativity. The only thing that helps us determine whether it's a valid subspace or not is a closure property. Okay. So we should pay attention to the closure property and usually this is what helps us determining whether uh, a subspace is or a set or subset of a vector uh, space is a subspace or not. Okay. So what is this closure property saying is that if I have two vectors x and y which belong to the original vector space v then any linear combination of those two vectors should also belong to v. Right. So um, if I have x and y which belong to v 
then any linear combination of these two vectors should also be in the vector space fine and uh, if i have a vector x in my vector space then any multiple of that particular vector should be in the vector space itself okay so this is a very important set of properties and usually it will help you in determining whether uh, vector subspace is a valid subspace or not fine so this this is what i wanted to talk about the vector space now let's talk about subspace so what is a subspace so subspace s of a vector space v is a subset of v okay so it's first of all you should pay attention to this subset word so when we talked about vector space we said that it is a set of vectors okay so a lot of students don't look at uh, vector spaces as sets um, and but we should be looking at them from the point of view of sets that a subspace s is nothing but a subset subset of the vector space because vector space it's itself a set of vectors so it's a subset and it actually follows these two properties okay if you can just justify these two properties for a subspace then it's definitely a subspace because i already told you that additive properties and multiplicative properties are actually inherited from the original vector space always right um, in most of the cases they will be inherited un unless specified so only thing that you have to carry uh, the only thing that you have to worry about is actually the closure under under the vector addition and closure under the scalar multiplication okay so suppose i have a vector x and a vector y uh, which belongs to the subspace or the subset that we have defined s then any linear combination it's actually be it's actually the linear combination so these two statements combined will say that these the linear combination of these two vectors should also be in the set okay and close is s is closed under the scalar multiplication so similar thing that if i have a vector x then every multiple of that particular vector should be in the subset and if these two properties are satisfied right for every vector that is there in s or the subset that you have defined that subset will become the subspace okay so i'll just reiterate here that a subset of a vector space vector space v is a subspace if it follows closure properties properties okay um uh, so let's say that i have a vector space which is like uh all the multiples of x all the multiples of y and all the multiples of x and y okay so this is a valid vector space or a subspace now if i'm defining s to be this that i have x i have 2x and i have y okay and and this is this is it so this is a subset but this is not a subspace right because i have not defined any linear combination like x plus y in this right so this will not be a subspace but it will be a subset fine so now let's go back to our question and try to solve that now if you have understood this far i think this will become very simple for you to understand let's look at the first statement so what is this first statement saying so it's saying that every vector space is a subspace of itself okay so we know that additive properties and multiplicative properties are already there for the vector space because it was a valid vector space by itself then uh, the sus subspace only needs the closure properties to be satisfied and vector space already by the properties has the closure properties right so the closure properties are always satisfied in a valid vector space so that's why we can say that this statement is correct right so this is correct that every vector space is a subspace of itself so the analogy is very similar to something that we have already know in the sets so every set is actually a subset of itself is just that here in vector spaces we have some additional properties and because a vector space already follows all the properties additive multiplicative and uh, closure so it's a valid subspace uh, because it's a subset of itself and also it follows the closure properties right so every vector space is a subspace of itself so this is correct right now let's look at the second statement every subspace of a vector space is itself a vector space okay so it's saying that that every subspace right so w is a subspace of v then is it asking whether w is a vector space or not okay so 
so what do we know about the vector space right so we know that a vector space should have additive properties multiplicative properties and also the closure properties right so a subspace as i already told you that it already inherits the additive properties the multiplicative properties and we ensure that the closure property is also satisfied so these three property the set of these three properties is already satisfied in the subspace right so hence a subspace is actually a vector space itself fine so a subspace is actually a vector space itself because it satisfies um, all the properties of the vector space right so additive is there uh, because this is inherited from the uh, vector space uh then multiplicative is also there multiplicative is also there and also closure properties are satisfied in subspace right so closure is also there so these three sets of properties is already satisfied hence this is correct fine now let's look at the third statement the intersection of any two subspaces of a vector space is a vector is a subspace okay so the intersection of two subspaces of a vector space is a subspace right so let's look at this so if i can prove prove the closure properties for this set w1 intersection w2 i will be able to show that this is a valid subspace okay so what are the closure properties that if x belongs to this set w1 intersection w2 then cx should also belong to w1 intersection w2 okay so say x belongs to w1 and x belong also belongs to w2 okay so x belongs to w1 then we know that cx will also belong to w1 because this is a valid subspace similarly cx will also belong to w2 because this is a valid subspace w2 is a valid subspace so if cx belong to both the subspaces then cx will also belong to w1 intersection w2 right because it belongs to both the sets it will also belong to the intersection of the set hence cx will belong to w1 intersection w2 right so if x belongs to this particular set i have proved that any multiple of that particular vector also belongs to this particular set hence uh, my first property is satisfied okay let me look at the other property which is the second property itself um so i have two vectors which belong to x and y okay so there are two uh, vectors that i have two vectors x and y which belong to w1 and w2 and basically the intersection so if i can prove um to prove that c1 x plus c2 y for c1 and c2 in r for all basically uh, they belong to w1 intersection w2 then i can, i have proved that these two vectors linear combination is there in this and hence it will be a subspace okay so i'll do a similar argument here as well so i know that x belongs to w1 and y also belongs to w1 right similarly i know that x and y belong to w2 also right because this was a valid subspace it means that c1 x plus c2 x c2 y also belong uh, c2 belong uh, c2 y also belongs to w2 right similarly i can write here as well that c1 x plus c2 y Uh, also belongs to w2 right so now this particular vector and it can be any combination right so i have not defined any c1 and c2 i'm saying for all c1 and c2 uh, that are in r this is true right because they are valid subspaces so if this belongs to w2 this is w1 actually so if this belongs to w1 and this belongs to w2 then it will belong to the intersection also right so c1x plus c2y also belongs to the intersection w1 intersection w2 right so i wanted to prove this for all c1 and c2 belonging to r or the scalar group or the r0 uh, r0 vector space so i wanted to prove this and i have proved so my second property is also proved right so the closure is there so and i know that rest of the properties are automatically here uh, for these two vector spaces or subspaces so this is actually correct right because i just proved to you that closure um, w1 and intersection w2 is closed right or follows the closure property follows closure property hence hence it's a subspace hence it's a valid subspace
ओके सो नाउ ओनली वन ऑप्शन इज लेफ्ट एंड बिकॉज दिस इज एन एम सी क्यू सो दिस मस्ट बी द आंसर बट लेट्स लुक एट दिस एंड अंडरस्टैंड वाई दिस इज फॉल्स ओके सो यूनियन ऑफ एनी टू सब स्पेसिस ऑफ अ वैक्टर स्पेस इज अ सब स्पेस दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ओके सो वॉट द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट इज सेंग दैट इफ डब्ल्यू वन एंड डब्ल्यू टू आर टू सब स्पेसिस ऑफ द वैक्टर स्पेस बी दैन डब्ल्यू वन यूनियन डब्ल्यू टू इज ऑल्सो सब स्पेस ऑफ वी राइट टू प्रूव okay so uh, when you have to prove these kind of things right even if you can present one example which negates this particular statement you are done okay for proving something is true you have to be very generic and do, do a proof like i did just before for w1 intersection w2 but for to disprove if you can just present one example that's enough right this is the proof itself that okay for this particular instance it's not working hence this the statement is not true so i'll do the similar thing here so i will give you a very simple very basic uh, example to understand this okay so let's und- let's assume that the vector space v is actually r2 okay and w1 is equals to x axis and w w1 is equals to x axis and w2 is equals to y axis okay so first of all see that w1 and w2 are valid subspaces because any vector that you have here right so any vector you have here uh, here here so any multiple of this will always lie on x axis uh, it can go back side also like then the negative side or if you add two vectors from this particular axis they'll still lie on this particular axis right so this is a valid subspace similarly w2 being a being the x y axis is actually the valid subspace right any vector you take here any vector that you take here will be a valid uh, will be a vector that lies in this subspace only so the closure properties are already satisfied right and zero is already there zero is also something that creates an issue when we are trying to prove whether a subspace is valid or not so you should also check for zero whether zero belongs to the subspace but because they were already valid subspaces so their union and intersection will autom- automatically contain the zero right so um, now let's see okay now let me take two vectors okay so i have a vector 1 which is v1 vector so it's let me take it to be 1 0 okay so this is my vector let me write it like this so this is my vector 1 0 okay and let me take the another vector v2 okay so 0 1 fine um so this is my other vector Zero one. Okay. Now v one belongs to the first subspace, which is w one. V two belongs to the other subspace, w two, and obviously there are multiples belong to w one and w two respectively, right? Now, if I add w one plus w two, right, what will I get? I'll get a vector one one, right? Now, if I take union of these two subspaces, what will I get? All the vectors that are on x-axis and all the vectors are on y axis right but when i add these two vectors the vector i'm getting is here so the vector i'm getting is this this is this is 1 1 right so is 1 1 part of the union this is this does this belong to w1 union w2 so all the vectors here and all the vectors here only right so these vectors are not part of this right so this is not part of this w1 union w2 and hence the union of any two subspaces might or might not be a subspace okay so i have given you this one proof that one instance where it's not true so it's not true for any like it's not true in general right there might be some cases where w1 union w2 is actually uh, the subspace a valid subspace but uh, if you are asking us generically that uh w1 union w2 is always a subspace it's not true right and i have shown you one example of that right so this is false so the correct answer for this particular question was this so the union of two subspaces of a vector space is not always a valid subspace fine so um let's see how the students replied to this particular um question so so i had asked this question on the telegram group that we have the public telegram group 
where uh, we actually discuss a lot of things about the gate da so if you're not already part for it and you're preparing for gate da you might want to check out the telegram group so i had asked the same question on the telegram today and uh, a lot of students replied and these were the stats of that so you can see that uh, uh, many of these students thought that every subspace of a vector space is not a vector space so there were students who actually incorrectly answered this question so i am hoping that after this video you will be able to answer this correctly and some of your concepts regarding subspaces and vector spaces have been cleared thank you thanks for watching and if you want to join our telegram group i'll attach the link in the description below you can also check out our courses uh, on the gate preparation uh, on our website for which you will find the link in the description thank you